So let's look at these equations a little more carefully. So the brightness constancy equation. What we're going to do is assume we know that some pixel is moving an amount uv. u is the amount in x, v is the amount of y, when we get to t plus 1, OK? The brightness constant constraint equation can be written like this. i of x, y, t, that is the image at time t at location x, y, brightness if it's grayscale, color if it's color, is going to be the same at t plus 1 at location x plus u, y plus v, where u and v are the amount the point has moved in the x direction and the y direction, respectively. So that's called the brightness constancy constraint. And in fact, I can rewrite it like this. 0 is equal to the x plus u, y plus v, t plus 1 image minus the original i of x, y, t. All right, that's the brightness constancy constraint. The second assumption was that we get a very small amount of motion. OK? So that basically u and v, let's assume they're like one pixel or part of a pixel. Or it just things are changing smoothly. Yes, you know what's coming. What that means is I can estimate, uh, using the Taylor expansion here, that the value of an image displaced from x by u and displaced from, from y by v is approximately, well, it's exactly here if I order terms, it's the original value plus the gradient x times delta x plus the gradient y times delta y, u and v are delta x and delta y respectively, plus some high order terms, right? Remember Taylor expansion, if you go infinite series, you get the exact solution, but we're just going to say plus some high order terms, and then when we make those high order terms go away, poof, wow, isn't that great? I've got the power right here, all right? Then we say that it's an approximation, OK? So we say that x plus u, y plus v is approximately the original image plus the gradient in x times delta x plus the gradient in y times delta y or v, 